Unit 141, sailing around the Aegean. Jessica, do you think the idea of a cruise around the Aegean Sea as a prize was a good idea? I think so, Alex. All three have asked me for details about the trip. They love the idea and they're determined to work hard in order to reach the 6,000 sales target. These group prizes are very effective because they make them feel more responsible. Each one depends on the other. The prize is for all or none. Or the others sell more when one of them misses his target. They motivate each other. We had a good idea. Well, the idea was yours, Alex. I was there and maybe I helped to inspire you. Yes, you always inspire me. And the truth is that the company is running at full steam. Who would have said four years ago that we would be turning over a thousand sales a month? A turnover of almost one million pounds a month. The board of directors are delighted with you. And to tell you the truth, I'm also delighted with my boss. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. But what about you? Aren't you coming to Greece with us? You could come to take care of us all. Eh? You could continue being my secretary during the 15-day cruise. What about that? My wife likes you very much, too. Well, let's see. The crew on the boat are a skipper and a sailor. I've been sailing before. I could help the skipper to put up the sails, and I could also give a hand doing the, the cooking and preparing the snacks. I could answer the phone call. That's decided, then. How could we possibly go without you? We would miss you all the time. A crew of two people for eight passengers is too little. A 20 meter long boat needs at least three people. I had already thought about it, but I didn't dare to ask. Oh, you should have told me. Things have been going very well. Let's hope they continue like this. By the way, we have to make the final decision about which boat to choose before they're all taken. Fortunately, June is still low season and the prices are quite reasonable. Let's go over the budget for the trip again. What are the estimated prices? The cost of the boat is going to be £6,000 a week, so that's £12,000. And the cost of the crew for 15 days will be £3,000. Since it's a sailing boat, there won't be any fuel costs. What about food? Well, I counted on everybody having dinner on land and all the lunches on the boat, so I calculated £25 per person per day. Since there'll be nine of us, that makes... £225 a day. That is almost £4,000 for two weeks. What about the cost of moorings? We should count about um, £150 a day. That's a maximum of £2,250. Although it's going to be less because sometimes we'll anchor in coves, I suppose. No, oh, I don't think so. We... The Aegean Sea is not like the Mediterranean. There's a wind called the Meltemi, that, which is very dangerous. One should always sleep in a port. So, what does it all add up to? Oh, 12,000 for the boat, uh, 3,000 for the crew, 4,000 for food, and 2,250 for mooring expenses. Total? £21,250. Let's add £3,750. For odds and ends like going to the disco and for drinks, and our budget will be £25,000. But this is conditioned by 6,000 sales, which means a turnover of almost £6 million. Not bad at all. We can certainly invest £25,000 if we reach this amount. I'm convinced that the possibilities of reaching the goal have increased enormously since we offered the prize. They're convinced that they would make it. Alex, you're a genius. Jesse, you're a magnificent secretary. It wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks, boss. I always like to hear that. 